Hey, good morning. Monday morning. It is the 4th of May. Jimmy, how is this? What's today's significance? I don't remember. May the 4th be with you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a nerd. <clears throat> Huge. Uh, all you Star Trek fans out there. <laughs> I mean, uh, You're going to get in the trouble. That Battlestar Galactica. Um, Come on, man. It's the may the fourth be with you. We got Solly Blackman here with us today. Solly Blackman, dressed in his X-wing fighter. All right, I'm working on some, y'all. We almost forgot some today. So the lineup's going to be really short right now because I don't see much people. But unless the chat has really slowed down again. But right out the gate, Nikki T, the better half of the Rev Resell, the best huh. admin in the business. She, she gets them gets, buffet points. She gets that buffet point. We got oh, the Biff Tannen quoting. That ain't gonna work, Solly Blackman. Dan, the IT man, bringing it with those Biff Tannen references. Dan, I thought Dan, I thought we told him he could dress up for work today. You know, Dan, we talked about this and you we'll go back to uh try to get in contact with him again. Yeah, tell him to go home and change. We told him to dress up for work today. Yeah. I mean, if yes, you're not going to so do your job, <laughs> Uh, Nikki T already dropped the space. Uh, so I uh, behind the scenes, I already said, at some point in this show, Frank will tell us that his favorite Star Wars movie is Spaceballs. <laughs> I always, it's the one, I always, my favorite Star Wars movie is the one with that world famous Mog in it. Yes. Now, who else we got? creeping in on this chat right now. I thought I saw Nate Dizzle, Nate Dogs in the house, my daughter Sammy, my sweet pea. She wants an my brother from another mother, Jimmy's brother from the same mother, Joe, what's up? Tommy Bernard, what's up? He said uh, May the, uh, Cinco de Mayo is the best part of <laughs> May the 4th. Is that the next day is Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> You know, we've talked about this, you know, think about it. Tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, we're going to keep my mog picture up the whole time. It's I mean, I Taco look, Tuesday. I look stellar and all, but. <laughs> I'm just showing you off, man. You, I appreciate it. crispy. Tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. It's Taco Tuesday. And we're still dealing with a coronavirus. Tomorrow can't get any better than this, right? We've been like. <laughs> We've been we've been training for this, folks. Hey, we well, got talk about up. those guys. Tommy and and Brandon have a podcast they're doing today. Yes, drop your link. Hey. Tom, drop the link for sure, man. They're gonna be they're gonna be doing their first podcast today. <laughs> what up, Stephen Gonzalez? In the house. The Queen E is here. What's up? Aaron's got a live tonight with Sonny, Las Vegas Thrift. Now, I saw the time was 6.30. Is that Eastern time or Mountain, Aaron? I believe it's Mountain. Rev, what's up? What's going on, Rev? Hey, why, did I, why did I yell? I was, <laughs> what's going on, Rev? <laughs> hey Jimmy, take over. I gotta do some things real quick for what we spoke about earlier with Dan. So oh Dan. So Dan the IT man, I believe he is a huge Star Wars fan. I don't believe I know ever uh you know, gotta represent the, the Star Wars today. If you're a fan, you don't have to. I, I think about it. If you're a fan, I've been a fan since I was a kid. My brother knows me and him grew up watching Star Wars and you know, played with the toys. So he's like, Dan, you gotta, if you're a fan, go ahead, go home, 
whatever you, you know, dark side, you know, whatever, whatever, however you want to dress. So, oh, you know what else I noticed when we were when I was scrolling through? Uh, and he rent a ranch. <laughs> Aaron tossing that ranch. Bam. Bouncing uh, it off. A couple things in the chat while you were doing that. Uh, oh, thanks. Tommy thinks that I got two of these. This, um, But uh, Aaron said 630. Speaking of Aaron on the screen, Aaron said 630 Mountain Time. Steven's got ranch. And guess what? Hey, Jimmy, Dan just showed back up. He did. He's back at work. All right. Yes. Way to bring a kid. Uh, I think he, had, he threw this costume together really. Oh, that's, hey, looking <laughs> good. That's like a red, black lightsaber, which is a rare one. <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool about it is it's literally hovering in front of his hand. Yeah. He's not holding it with his hand. He's using the force to hold it. <laughs> that's the, exactly. He's, he's like. Now I only know that reference because Darth Vader does that, right? To... You know what's amazing is the. Did you? Here's a fun fact: Darth Vader later became Eddie Murphy's dad in Coming to America. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Aaron, he left, says you, uh, Aaron says you're looking good. You got rid of the bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, I went and got some uh, Redken. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a product my daughter sells at her store, Redken. To yeah, clean it up pretty good. Got some tanning going on. Um, or not even tanning. I'm more like milky now, like from me myself and Irene. I'm like pasty white. But it, I can still go red if people want. Look, scurvy. May the fourth. <laughs> that is the three minute editing of May the fourth be with you. Man. I apologize. At least the head isn't on backwards or somewhere crooked. <laughs> At least your neck's not broken or something. <laughs> Aaron <laughs> sold a Star Wars item today. The editing force is not strong with these two. <laughs> are we buffering? I don't know. Are we? I don't. I, I see it. Frank has a little bit of buffering going on. On my end, and it could just be me, I don't know. but not nothing very noticeable. The heck you say, yeah. That's my but that's my that's my buffering impression. <laughs> so yeah, Jimmy, you got the uh, Star Wars Starfest hat going on there. Yes, you got the. Uh, Who's on your shirt there? I know the guy on the your left, my right, would be Darth Maul. Correct? Oh. Am, am I correct? Which side? This 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 guy right yeah, here. Yeah, that's your left. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Darth Maul. The Emperor that's Darth Vader. Vader. All right, who's the guy on the bottom? That's uh, Darth Algar from Wayne's World. No, I have no clue. <laughs> yes, it is Darth. Darth Algar. Welcome to the show. I, I What's this a play on, though? What's this a play on? Is that Queen? Yes. <laughs> From Bohemian Rhapsody? <laughs> Is this the dark side? No, I'm not a singer, folks, so. <laughs> Dan said, Is it just me or are these guys buffeting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are buffeting. <laughs> All right, Frankie's going to pretend like he's not a Star Wars fan now. Right? He literally gave me like a Star Wars box set to sell on eBay. Now, I will freely admit, Jimmy, we've we've talked about in the past, I've seen bits and pieces of what I guess is now technically 4, 5, and 6. Oh, you right? have, huh? Like bits and pieces of each. Like I could probably, I've never watched any of them from beginning to end. But I know, like, there are certain scenes that always stick out to me. Like, right. obviously, I, I don't know which one it is, but it's the one where Luke Skywalker's flying in the X-Wing and the little guy is behind him and they're going through the... <laughs> which one is that one? That's that's the first or A New Hope, right? Is that what you're talking about? I, I got to be careful. That's the original first one, which is now episode four. Yeah. Is that correct? 
I think you're talking about a new hope. I didn't I don't know who you, the little guy was it an Ewok? Was it a oh, robot? The guy looked like a trash can or a mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> that's not C3PO. That's uh what's his name? Uh R2D2, yeah. yeah. What do you talking about in machete or is that the one with uh, Jan Danny Trejo? Oh, no, that's a movie machete. That's a terrible movie. Yeah, My, what is... Uh, <laughs> what is... Hey, Joe, what does machete order mean? It means chop off what? the crappy ones from the 90s? Is that what it means? <laughs> <laughs> that Are would be my guess. That? Let's chop off the crap from the 90s and watch it. <laughs> my guess would be... I have Rogue One in there. Would it be like literally re watching them from order of release? So it'd be like four, five, six, and then two, three, four, whatever. I don't know. I prefer to watch it well, starting from Rogue One and then going working my way through. I, the one, the stuff from the nineties is just impossible to watch, in my opinion. Like I tried to watch Episode One yesterday, and as soon as I saw Jar Jar Binks, I was like, okay, well. <laughs> I go do. <laughs> Which is the one where uh, Han Solo's like frozen in, or not frozen, but whatever, like encased in like cement or something like that? And uh, Princess Leia's like old dope fan next to Pizza the Hut. Oh, uh, Return of the Jedi? Okay. I've seen bits and pieces of that one. Like I said, I, if I were actually. Um, to oh, sorry. This is a Colorado Rockies baseball player. Charlie Blackman dressed in an X-Wing fighter uniform. It does not get much better than that. Sorry, go ahead, Frank. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joseph saying watch him in a different order and the story will make more sense. <laughs> so you would that would just be like plugging in. Uh, you'd have to start with the Han Solo one then, right? Oh no. You have to start with episode one. Those ones, I always forget about those ones because they're. Yeah, well, I'll check that out, Joseph. Um, I, I'm not gonna watch them all, anyways. I don't think anybody can handle. I mean, I guess people can, but I can't. So see, Cajun, it was carbonite. Yes. And then what? So again, and I've seen like when uh, Darth Vader is fighting. Um, what is his name? Obi Wan Kenobi or something like that, and he kills him. In a New Hope, that's a New Hope. Okay. Obi -Wan. There's, another, there's another scene in another movie where. Uh, Sounds like you've never seen Star uh, Empire Strikes Back, which is our one of the best ones. Yeah, see, Some people have said it's the best one. There was uh, there's one where they're in like some sort of a trash thing that's gonna crush them. Yes. They're able to He's escape. About the same movie. A new okay. hope. You've seen a lot of that's what I'm saying. If I pieced it together, if I were to machete it together, I've probably <laughs> seen the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, you've seen you've seen most of the first the first one that was ever released. Okay. Oh a new hope. So it was Star Wars and then Empire Strikes Back and then Return of the Jedi. So the first one's actually called A New Hope. Star Wars A New Hope. I'm talking like sir, like 1978 or whenever when yeah. it came out. That was just Star Wars, right? Oh, I mean, yeah, it was. I got you. That's my only way of identifying them because I don't know how. Because once they started doing the actual full story, then I started losing track of the names right. of each one, the actual names of them now. So yeah, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi are the old ones. And the, okay. And the old ones. Return of the Jedi has the Ewoks in it, correct? Yes. Those, like some big weird machines that are in like a snowy scene or something. Which one is that one from? That's Empire. Is that Empire? Okay. What's, what's that? What, there's a movie where they say that. That's Empire, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> anybody seen Ted 2 when they're uh, like... One of the girls off. Why don't you piss off Captain Kirk? They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a different franchise. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's in Ooh. Deadpool when Deadpool's joking about Star Wars, and she's all, "That's a new. That's a. New, that's that's. She's that's Empire, baby. 
Because <laughs> he's getting them all mixed up. Deadpool's a great movie too, though. I I've, the second one, I've I've watched the same thing. Oh, I've watched like yeah. some pieces of that one, and it's been it's funny. I just don't. Dude, know. I love yeah those movies. Deadpool's Deadpool two is freaking hilarious, man. Hey, Sonny, welcome in, buddy. Thank you for coming in. Hey, Sonny. Your... Yeah, go ahead, sir. Looking forward to your uh, your show tonight with Aaron. Looking forward to that. And I'm sorry, Jimmy, you did verify that is six thirty. 6.30 Mountain Time with um, okay. Best Offer Queen, Aaron's channel. That's always a, that'll be an awesome show. Two awesome people. Uh, I think they've both been on our show. Yes, they have. We matter of fact, Aaron was a guest host. She has been, she was, wasn't she officially our very first guest? And yeah. Then she, and then she was our very first special co-host. Yes. She's got a hit the trifecta. What's the next thing we can do with Aaron to uh, kick us off the show and have it yeah, show. <laughs> tomorrow. She'll be like, so I got rid of those fat, ugly guys. And now it's me. You don't have to worry about seeing them today. <laughs> Talking about star Wars and stuff. <laughs> I saw, uh, I saw your latest TikTok as well there, Sonny. <laughs> If you guys haven't checked out his latest TikTok, it's either I mean, it might be on his wife's TikTok, but I, I watched it this morning. Hey, he's Greg, all serious sure he in the house. He had a big uh, landmark. I saw him. He had a hundred thousand views on YouTube last right. week. That's awesome! Congratulations. The best mod in the business. What's up, Jennifer? You know, our IT guy to do something with uh, Jennifer there. She needs her own special thumbnail to honor her for being like just a queen mod. She's there's something special about her. She needs to be off with your heads. We should let her take over the show. <laughs> Listen, that's three minutes, three minute editing right there, y'all. That's pretty good. I <laughs> can confirm. It was like three minutes till showtime, and I started editing that sucker. Yeah, we're like we're sitting here like just talking behind the scenes, just kind of <laughs> bull crapping around, and Jimmy and we're like, we didn't do nothing for Dan this week. It's like oh. when you wake up for school in the morning and you realize you didn't get your homework done, and you're like, oh no, that's today. <laughs> I <laughs> guess I'll ditch. <laughs> I guess I have to do that homework. <laughs> we didn't ditch though. We showed up. Oh, just as on to this machete order. Yeah. Oh, so Frank's daughter, Samantha, is on her. What's that? Who Who is that? The rat, the girl, what's her name? I'm just drawing a blank. The one that goes, oh, somebody tell me. She's on a kick of that. Oh, so she told me to say, oh, like 35 times. Oh, so, oh, and I'm supposed to go. And Nate oh, was like, Kurt. and Nate was like, I, I can't. I Cardi can't. B. <laughs> yep. I'm so I'm supposed to be on a Cardi B kick today. So if you guys hear me go, oh, Kurt, you know what? Jimmy and Dan wants to know was that three minutes of editing or three year old editing? <laughs> you, well, it was both. <laughs> I believe it is. Rumor it has it. Rumor has it. When Star Wars is being talked, yeah, that's where the cool kids are hanging out. Hey, real quick, Sonny, congrats, buddy, on that uh, 11-year anniversary mark. Good job. Keep it up. Nice, man. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy said, tell Nate to say, oh, <laughs> He can't roll his R. He can't roll no, his tongue. He's he's can't roll. Roll. I can't roll my R's. I can't do it. I'm like... <laughs> I don't even know. I've never even heard that, so I don't even know what you guys were talking about last night. I was like lost. I was like, let me try to get this red thing figured out because you know, <laughs> Sammy just took over my my chat, right? And I probably I said oh, about thirty five times. I think I, I hit, did. I meet the quota. Is the question? My question Everybody's is like, yes, you have. Please stop doing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> My question was, who had the over-under of 12 minutes for Anthony to ditch that mask this morning on uh, E-Comma Beyond? Sweaty and healthy. I can't read the comments. I'm all he sweaty and foggy. He come out of He come <laughs> He took that mask off. He was like... <laughs> Pretty much like me walking out of that mask. <laughs> he's all he's looking for a nap and he's all <laughs> that was, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> what was the over under? <laughs> so uh Aaron mentioned that she sold anybody else sell some Star Wars stuff on this May the I did, I sold some last night, May the fourth. May the 3rd for May the 4th. It was the weirdest toy I've ever sold. Though. Really? What was it? Let Do tell. If, let me see if I can share it because you can't explain it. I think it's pretty. It's a Star Wars toy. It's a mashup, if you will. So here's one we, we were talking about it last night, Jimmy. Here's a little tip for everybody. So Jimmy and I were at a garage sale, or not a garage sale, but a thrift store, like a mom and pa type thrift store. And Jimmy said, hey, Frank, you, you sell some Disney stuff. There's a old vintage Epcot Center visor over there. And I said, hey, Jimmy, you know what? I said, I got an Epcot Center VHS cassette. I'll bundle them together, and maybe I can get more out of them by selling them that way. And this was probably what? Four months ago, Jimmy. I mean, it's, I've sat on them. Don't get me wrong, folks. I'm not saying this was la Sunday or Saturday. And I sat on them for a while, but they've. I landed up flipping them finally for fifty bucks for a VHS cassette and a vintage Epcot Center visor. So sometimes, if you have multiples of the same kind of genre or brand or something, don't be afraid to kind of bundle them together. You might have a better chance. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about this. Sorry, let me get this up on the screen. Oh, yes. So this is a Millennium Falcon and Han Solo Blaster Star Wars Transformer. And it's Chewbacca and Han Solo apparently in Carbonite. And what's weird about it is the only thing that makes it Chewbacca or Han Solo is the head. Like nothing else about it makes that Chewbacca except for he's got Chewbacca's head. And then nothing else about this makes it Han Solo except for he's got Han Solo's head. Like the weirdest mashup I've ever seen. But yeah, I sold that for thirty dollars yesterday. And then I, I noticed you sell it. And then I did notice, Jimmy, there's uh there is a Han Solo and a yeah, right in the middle. action figure to go in them. I'm assuming one they're they're Turned into the robot, or not, I don't want to say robot, but like the, the X Wing or whatever. You have an actual action figure to be flying the the Millennium Falcon, yes. Yes. <laughs> no, isn't the other guy the X Wing on the left? Uh, where? Isn't, or the whole thing is the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. You got, oh, both of them combined to make the Millennium Yeah, see. So okay. Oh, okay. Han Solo's the gun on top, he's like the top part of the ship. Yeah. Okay. He just, it kind of look honestly, if you look at the way, it almost looks like he would be an X-Wing fighter. Yeah, you're right. I, I see it now. I yeah. see it. When see he's it? in his robot form. <laughs> I'm not completely... Uh, not bad. <laughs> I kind of have a, I have a very minimal <laughs> knowledge. So yeah, I thought that was... And I, I was just looking. I actually sold quite a few Star Wars items over the weekend. That was the weird thing that I sold, though, like... The only other thing I sold was I had this uh, Franklin Mint um, coin set. It was from like 1971, and I listed it and took a $100 offer on it last night. Nice. XG. Uh, I'm going to go over here and smash this like button. Y'all go over. If you don't mind, smash that like button. I apparently was neglectful on, from that standpoint. Yeah, well, I couldn't sell it on Amazon, Dan. Let me catch up on the yeah, chat. That's, actually, that's awesome that it's that much on Amazon, Dan. Uh, the box had, like on Amazon, I wouldn't sell it because it has like damage to the box. had a little bit of damage, and I'm not allowed to. 
We're not allowed to sell that on Amazon. Dan, on top of it, though, as always. You all right there, Frank? <laughs> that that. Have you guys ever seen? Because that microphone has intensified your dad your dad dad noises. Have you ever seen that Family Guy where he does the dad noises? <laughs> I want to bring that up. If you guys have any of you guys ever seen the Family Guy where he does the dad noises, it's great. Like he, uh, Peter sits in his recliner and he just sits there making all these different dad noises. <laughs> He's like, mm, uh, <coughs> uh, <laughs> I, I do that every once in a while. I, I catch myself, and Amanda will be like, "You okay?" Because I'll be sitting on the couch watching the movie, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> "She's all." Clear. <laughs> but when you lean, you just leaned into your mic right not on purpose but you did and you're all um, uh, like a bad noise <laughs> i'm telling you i we should try, i should try to share that i just don't know i'd have to close this other window it's hilarious uh i'm gonna try to do it i, I do it. ask amanda about that though seriously she'll be like or we'll be <laughs> driving and i'm driving you know she's like you awake? <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Headed to Walmart. Does anyone need anything? <clears throat> See? She just nailed it. Look at that. He growls like a bear. <laughs> I'll just be sitting there. All right. Let me try to share this, y'all. If you have yeah. not seen this, hopefully it'll work. I'm going to share my screen. Share screen. Chrome tab, Peter Griffin dad noises. This is what Frank just leaned on the mic to do. <laughs> Let me know if, if the I don't know if the sound is gonna work because I had trouble last time with the sound. Come on, work. You're muted. <laughs> Two arcane supers Can you hear it? For the long yes. Time. All right, man. For the miles travel. You gotta watch the ad. I apologize, guys. In case you guys want to shop at Walmart or wherever. Kroger. This is Frank leaning into his mic just now. I love this. What do you want to do now? I got an idea. How about you all sit there quietly while I make dad noises? I do this all the time. It's <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> 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 I love that that part of that. I'm part telling that you, I, do that. I swear to God, I do that all the time. <laughs> That's great, dad noises. <laughs> like I said, it's just a little alarming when I turn and I see Amanda like this. I'm like, or I'll be sitting on the couch and I'll just start to. Then I do this number, <laughs> and then I turn and Amanda's like this. <laughs> Ready to? Shit! Oh, that's great. <laughs> I think it's well, it's well documented amongst your friends and family that you may or may not have sleep apnea. <laughs> First of all, in my defense, okay, I went and We're did a going to a great story right here. <laughs> went to do a sleep study one time about twelve years ago because they said I may or may not sleep at night. <laughs> I know they've changed with technology, but 12 years ago when I had a sleep test done, they literally hooked up like a hundred probes throughout my body. And I they had me like this, like all over my head, neck, chest, arms, legs, everywhere you could think. They did stay away from a certain areas, thank God. And then they're like, now just act natural and go to sleep. I'm like, because, yeah, God knows I sleep with 100 probes coming out of every part of my body that I can just fall asleep now. And said you may or may not breathe at night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't breathe more than I actually breathe at night. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> you got to tell more of this story. This story is <laughs> So, I mean, they literally told me in the eight-hour sleep test I did that I literally had over, like, the average person has a half dozen occurrences <laughs> through a sleep I had like 136. And she's like, you literally never fell asleep. I'm like, I know. I got 100 probes connected to me. I'm miserable. <laughs> so so then they prescribe me a CPAP machine. And I take <laughs> it home. And me and Amanda are laying in bed. I get my machine. I plug it in. <laughs> Get my mask, turn on the machine, and I put the machine on, and it's literally like this, folks. This is all you hear. And Amanda turns to me and says, hey, Maverick, can you be quiet? I can't hear you. Or she didn't have her face covered, but she was calling me Maverick like I look like Tom Cruise from Top Gun. So naturally, she pisses me off, so I'm like, the hell is you, man? This isn't funny. I gotta wear a stupid thing on my shoe. And she's like, "Okay, Goose, calm down. You want to play volleyball?" And she just continually egging me on, calling me, you know, yeah. making fun of me, saying I look like uh, Tom Cruise from Top Gun, except for I didn't have the body or the look, or I was more of a Val Kilmer <laughs> in Top Gun. <laughs> but she was, <laughs> oh shoot, that's a great story. I have my, I have my, my uh, sleep apnea story. I went to, here's my, my sleep apnea story is this. I went to the urgent care for something not like I had, like I was, had an injury at work or something. Right. Um, and they required me go to the urgent care and I'm sitting there in the urgent care for this, whatever I injured. And they're like, and the nurse comes in and she's all, so the reason you have sleep apnea is the girth <laughs> around your neck. <laughs> And I was all, what? And I was like, she's all, the reason you have sleep apnea is all that girth around your neck. And I was all, I'm here for, I hurt my hand. I've never had a sleep apnea test done in my life. What are you talking about? And she's all, oh. <laughs> she, she judged me because of the girth around my neck. I was like, I'm not, I hurt my hand. <laughs> Talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just got. I was like, I just got profiled. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I've never even been tested for it. <laughs> I'm sure the silence was deafening after that. Like, like seriously, I was like, wait, what? How do you? <laughs> <sighs> She does get a buffet point. For that. <laughs> I mean, I pro and I found out later I do have sleep apnea. <laughs> so she was a psychic. <laughs> she, she, her calling was being a psychic. Oh my god! She was, uh, <laughs> the girth around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my god, yeah, that was messed up, man. I came and home and told my wife I was all mad. I was all the lady told me today that I have sleep apnea because of the girth around my neck. <laughs> she had to use the word girth. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't say the extra weight or something. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't think my neck was that far. <laughs> so yeah, that's my uh sleep apnea story. <laughs> Oh, you go in for a, a <laughs> like I cut my finger. <laughs> I was all holding my finger out for her to look at it. <laughs> oh, oh, my chart here shows. <laughs> the reason that you have sleep apnea. The girl, <laughs> come on, man. She had that oh, chart. <laughs> Which face is the amount of girth around your neck? Is it the or the? <laughs> oh shoot! All right, Nate, I'm gonna check it. 
Oh the my card gosh. says, <laughs> what is causing Jimmy's undiagnosed sleep apnea? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, your too. finger. <laughs> Maybe she was trying to correlate the correlation between your hand, food <laughs> to the mouth is causing the esophagi to swell and cause the uh, girth around one's neck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you do a documentary? Is it like a? <clears throat> Would we be like the oh, videos, you know? <laughs> right? I'm going to do a weight loss study. The before and after are going to look exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like that one where, like, this is Frank before the diet. This is Frank. Hold on. This is Frank after the diet. Frank lost his glasses. <laughs> That's all he lost. <laughs> Jimmy lost his hair. That's all he lost. <laughs> <laughs> After today's show, Frank and Jimmy lost subs. <laughs> Don't mean the sandwiches. A documentary on let's well, not the girl. <laughs> <laughs> we are better suited for. I know, right? At least, thank God you said sitcom and not rom com. There, Joe. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's see how much my glasses weigh. Now I have to, I can't see though. Not even an ounce. So my lenses are probably thicker because of my fact that I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> Mine weigh an ounce. Oh my gosh, too funny, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we went into that whole. I forgot about that sleep apnea stuff. <laughs> we both, Frank got picked on by his wife and I got. Profiled by a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then later Amanda, on, oh, Amanda <laughs> could correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't I have, didn't we have the Frankie's, was it a shoulder surgeon or his knee surgeon that was bitching at me about my being overweight? I'm like, hey, we're talking about my son here, not me. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, I think you remember you telling me that story that, that your may may or may not be somewhat slightly accident prone son and Frankie. I'm accident prone too, so <laughs> let's just be clear on that. <laughs> Lynn, good morning um, or afternoon if you're on the East Coast. Dude, I I would love to have a buffet meow, <laughs> right meow. I think that <laughs> I don't. <laughs> He's about to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I later found out when I had all my surgeries, because I had to have surgery on my stomach. That's how I found out I had sleep apnea because I was I always sleep on my stomach. And then when I was forced to sleep on my back while I was recovering, like 15 times a night, the nurses would come rushing into my room. <laughs> You're not breathing. <laughs> and I was like. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sleep. And they're like, no, you literally stopped breathing. <laughs> Again, like I said, the scary part for me is I do that while sitting like on the couch. I'll be just sitting there <laughs> resting my eyes, and then all of a sudden you hear <laughs> and the man is like, Babe, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just watching this movie. She's like, Really? Because you're watching the Emerald Lagasse air fryer infomercial right now. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to think about upgrading our air fryer. So leave me alone. <laughs> oh, shit. So By the way, anybody out there who has an air fryer? Nah. They're a game changer. If you want to eat three chicken wings at a time, because <laughs> that's how you can fit in those things. <laughs> like Amanda performs. Affected making bacon in our air fryer. If you want two pieces of bacon at a time, it is to die for. <laughs> now I know for all you skinny people out there, <laughs> two pieces of bacon is suffice. <laughs> right, two packages of bacon. <laughs> right, you better cook a pound of bacon at a time. That thick cut too. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. 
they're good for tater tots. You can get quite a few tater tots in there. That's <laughs> <clears throat> like me and Steven were joking about, hey, Eagle Heart Cells, what's up? Welcome in. Um, but we were joking about, uh, um, I was teasing him about having an air fryer. No, he was talking about his Instant Pot. And I was like, dude, you're such a dork. You really, you got an Instant Pot? He's like, yeah. I was like, I got one too. To be with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, and an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, I was like, uh, I have to admit, I'm thinking about upgrading to a larger air fryer too. So, well, where does it say that on the package? Yeah, <laughs> you show me where it says that. I didn't. That's the sur If the Surgeon General puts that on there, maybe I'll listen. <laughs> Yeah, see, Rev and Rev's not husky, and he eats some. But see, yeah, see, and he can almost get <laughs> a river. Uh, hey, Sam it, 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 makes it, the best bacon. How do you not make the best bacon? <laughs> well, you know how that some people there, there's that fine line between overcooked bacon and undercooked oh, bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's like a that's like a tasting. Like I I like my bacon chewy. Most people see, think that's the, disgusting. And some people like their uh, their bacon cremated, like just crunch, yeah. like you bite into it, and it just breaks apart. Nope. Aaron yeah, Aaron, I, say, I bought the XL, and I mean, don't get me wrong, the stuff that it cooks, it cooks well. But you know, even by myself, I'm a family of four, so you know, I need. <laughs> When he goes out to eat by himself, he's not going to get a table for four, please. <laughs> One chair. <laughs> a Diet Coke, please. Chewy bacon. I love chewy bacon. I don't like burnt bacon at all. See, yeah, too much crunch. Nope. See, Sonny likes his slightly burnt. Yeah. Nikki, I agree. That's called bacon bits. That goes on a salad. Yes. Yeah, no, it doesn't either. I don't like bacon on my salad. I don't either. <laughs> Well, hold on, wait, wait. What? What's a salad? <laughs> what's the salad you speak of? I thought that was like garnish for the, you know. It's actually Juliet, pronounced. Wrong. My niece is in the house. What's up? Did it? Was she at your house yesterday? Who did I hear in the background? That was Julie. Yeah. yeah. Well, Julie, Frankie, Danielle, Rebecca. <laughs> hey, dude. What's you know? Uh, uh, we were talking about her the other day on the show. Uh, Oh my god, I can't believe I just drew a mind blank on her name. I tease her all the time. Man to save me. Who? Becca's friend. The one that's all like she's she was like on the dance team in high school, like beautiful girl, and then she talks and then it's like oh she's that's like cleared it up. Potato salad. I know potato salad, macaroni salad. I gotcha. Yes, like, those kinds of salad, Waldorf uh, salad. Thanks for clearing that. He didn't clear up the name. He just cleared <laughs> up the salad question. We're waiting for Hannah is what Sammy said. Hannah. But, yeah, Hannah, like I said, real beautiful girl. She walks in. Hey, dude. Aaron, if you go to Walmart and you find basketball cards, you need to let me know. You shouldn't buy them. Just let me know what Walmart had them. <laughs> just be careful, Hannah. Or Hannah. <laughs> Aaron, I just read a message. <laughs> What happens when I try to do two things at one time? Fact. I read Samantha's <laughs> message. <laughs> See, Perlini knows, Lynn knows, Waldorf salad, yes. But be careful what you're buying. Don't, you know, because they'll have a lot of like 2018, 2019. They're kind of. Well, a lot of people are saying if it's basketball cards and it's the last two years. Is it? They're worth buying. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Anthony, I think Anthony even said that. Like, if it at this point in the last two years, if it's basketball, there's so many good rookies between Zion and and Morant, and then last year was the guy from oh, I can't remember their names. Um, Young, I think it is. Like between all those rookies, the last two years are worth buying. Yeah, if you can find 2020, that's the best stuff right now, Aaron. They're talking about Elway's restaurant, Dan and Amanda, are 
I've never yeah. been there. Have, I've never been there, but you guys went there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Trey Young we went there a couple years ago for our anniversary, and they, I mean, you talk about literally top-notch service. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's expensive, but. Amanda made a reservation, told them it was our anniversary, and they literally gave us like red carpet fine dining experience, and it was nothing extra over their normal. They really treat you well there. It's worth going to. Luca, Luca, that's right. Yeah. So you're saying, would you say if you can find cards from the last two years, Rev, if you have if you have a second, would it be smart to buy anything from the last two years or just this year? Well, Trey Young, Joseph, and Dan, Dan jinxed each other. Next one, a uh, message in the chat. Oh, somebody a pop. Yeah, there you go. Cajun just put up a good point, and I knew that. I knew that. I just didn't say it. Good point. If it says sticker on them, yep. Do not buy the stickers. And then Anthony was saying, <clears throat> try to buy the – don't buy the retail packs, buy the – blister packs or something he said this morning on the show Do you or, oh no the um no, uh, blaster. Hockey blaster. blaster packs there you go yeah i was all booster booster <laughs> oh it's way off samson <laughs> <laughs> okay so hey rev you would you say that's again just to verify or to be clear uh strictly basketball on the last two years you would say yeah, i think it's just basketball because we bought football from last year <laughs> that was yeah that was uh <laughs> I should have just took two twenty dollar bills and burned them in the dry in the driveway. I would have felt better. You should, you should do a pack opening on those stickers, Aaron. <laughs> that you're gonna go buy, even though we told you not to buy stickers. So don't buy the stickers. That's the word on the street. And when I say the word on the street, I mean YouTubers that are opening packs right now. <laughs> well, that's like the that there was a guy that did a box opening on those. Uh, it was the Prism Football Draft cards or whatever, and he bought the packs and did them the day before the draft. And he was like, "I literally got to get these listed and hopefully sell because after the draft." then Prism is going to come out with another set of cards where the players are with the actual teams, and then those those draft cards won't be worth as much. Right. I was, I've was i been meaning to ask my brother, Joseph, if you ever wander out to Walmart in your area, since you're in a smaller area, you should check the sports cards and let me know if they have any basketball cards from the last two years. Just saying. Nikola Skidishvili, wasn't that the guy? He didn't play for the Nuggets. Uh, I think, or he played with the Suns. I think he played with both. I think he was drafted by the Nugs. Joseph will know. Nikola Skidishvili. Nikola's, That's the only reason he had to have played for the Nugs, because why else would I know how to pronounce his name? <laughs> All right. I played for the Suns. <clears throat> Joseph, clarify. Drafted by the Nuggets. Okay, I was wrong. Who's the guy with the weird name that was – who's the – oh, I'm thinking of Jake Sokolitis. Remember Jake Sokolitis? That name sounds Jake? familiar to me. He was drafted by the Suns. I don't – who was he drafted by, Joe? I don't – Who? Jake Sokolitis? No. Who? This guy. Oakley Doakley. <laughs> <laughs> Who was talking about on somebody's live the other day? They were talking about George Mershon. What was that on? Someone was talking about him. And because you were talking about how you met him at the. Yeah. Was I it met at him the... in Vegas. It was yeah. when we were talking to. I, and Sonny was in the chat. I remember Sonny being there. I met George Mershon in Vegas. Yeah. He, he I, was I having trouble I, walking. I'm he was man, obviously he's like seven seven. He was not walking very well. Cause he was the same dude that was in that movie with Billy Crystal, Mike yeah, Giant. Mike Giant. Yep. Which here's a fun fact that movie was loosely based on Billy Crystal's experience with Andre the Giant while filming The Princess Bride. Yes. Yeah, that's funny because 
I remember when he used to when he came into the draft and he was like he he when he was in the draft and he was like, "Why are they talking? Why are you talking about no show Moreno?" They were talking about <laughs> no Sean Moreno, also known as no show Moreno, right? Fun fact where he got his name from, the no stands for knowledge. His yeah. mom did like a, something. About, hey, also fun fact. Did you know the <clears throat> the N on the Nebraska Cornhusker helmet stands for knowledge? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> hey, Cajun, I just want to let you know right now, Amanda was a huge No Sean fan. And I'm going to get in the trouble for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> he she became a fan of him because remember was it the a Broncos Chiefs game where they were playing the national anthem? He was crying. Yeah. His tears yeah. were <laughs> like he literally had the world's largest teardrops running down his face. Like he practically flooded the stadium. I li I gave No Sean all the chance in the world for me to like him, but he never panned out here. Well, no. He puts yeah, I put my cabbage on my street tacos. Yes. See, look, Amanda's already. She loved that boy for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a real thing, Joe, or is that some kind of a gag thing from like Saturday Night Live or something? Smells like cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Solid black man. Oh. Charlie Blackman. Does everybody in the chat knows what we're talking about when we say that Charlie Blackman thing? You guys have to look it up. There's a Frank. Go ahead, tell about it. But go, you tell him about it, and I'm gonna see if I can find the video, Jimmy. There's just a video of a kid who's a. It's a little kid, like really young, who's a big Charlie Blackman. That's this guy, Charlie Blackman. Um, plays for the Rockies. He's a big fan of Charlie Blackman, and um, his parents put Charlie Blackman on the TV or something like that, and the kid's just yelling, Sonny Blackman! And so it's like in, in our local area, it's a really popular video. Um, better than... Wait, wait, wait. Tebow time. <sighs> I, I wanted Tebow to be good in the worst way, but when I first – my brother – as a matter of fact, my brother came out here and we went to a practice at the stadium, and my brother was like, yeah, that guy cannot throw a football. And I was like, no, he cannot. Great athlete, but that little bloop. Okay, can you guys see? Let me know if I have any issues with this. There's guys that are talking about Tebow. Tebow, I agree, but he refused to play anything but quarterback. Who's Tebow? <laughs> he won a playoff <clears throat> game. Listen, I'm not – Tebow could not throw a football to save his life. He got – he was a great athlete, but that guy had the most bloop passes I've ever – it was like watching Tech Mobile where the ball would just disappear off the screen. <laughs> now, I will say this. A couple of our friends here in the chat from the – Pittsburgh area might remember right. Tim Tebow more than most Bronco fans. Yes. Why is my oh man my Dale is jizz act up now. Rev, yeah, yeah. He's a. I mean, he has a huge. He's still to this day 
has a following people here that thought that they should have never, you know, went to Manning. Obviously, I don't agree with that. Peyton Manning. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know the answer to that question at all, actually. I'm... We're talking about Tim Couch or Eric Crouch. I just don't know if an R mm -hmm. got dropped from this comment. I don't know. Oh, I don't Eric know. Eric Crouch, he was what, drafted by the Browns? Was he? I don't know. Oh, Amanda said that's why my deal is messing up a little bit. Well, then oh, y'all yeah. need to get off the Wi-Fi and get on your cellular service. Get on that cellular. <laughs> Brandon Marshall never went to the playoffs? No, what he's saying is, you know, everybody talks about Tebow throwing the perfect pass, but nobody talks about the 90-plus yards from, you know, running across the field and, you know, running his tail off to – uh that was or wasn't the that Demarius? Huh? But that was Demarius Thomas, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Demarius. No, I, I don't oh. need a green screen. Yeah, Demarius Thomas caught the pass from Tebow. Was sure. it D two? Yeah. I'm a hundred percent sure of that. Aaron's telling me I need a green screen. You don't like my toy backdrop? Is that what's happening here? Let me know if you guys think I should get rid of this and get a green screen. I'd be crushed if you say green screen. The girth in my neck would be crushed. Yeah, freaky. I, I mean, green screen freaky. coming I'm out. Freaky, okay. <laughs> We're just chilling in my. Yes, I did Tebow the kitchen counter. <laughs> she wants to borrow your background. Not sure what Frankie's saying. Are you saying our guys couldn't catch? Oh, you know, I think John Elway said it the best. He said, if I wanted somebody to marry my daughter, Tim Tebow would be the first person he would choose. Right. He would also be the last person he'd want a quarterback an NFL team. Yeah, I mean, if you yeah, I mean, Tebow, if you look at his stats and some of the games he played in, it's down in history as some of the worst stats from an NFL quarterback as far as completion percentage. Like, he had, he went like two for 18 or something like that in one game. It was just some of the worst numbers ever. Yeah, I think he literally set records for the lowest completion percentage by a winning quarterback in certain yeah. games. Like, I think there was a game against the Chiefs where I'm not lying. I think he literally completed two passes yeah, the whole game. Against the Chiefs, yep. Cajun, I, I would probably agree with this. Other than that's like saying, would you rather be shot in the leg or the arm? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron wants to know where you got your new chair. Are you going to show off the new chair? <clears throat> or what a... By so, the way, that is proper English. Or what a... Or what a... No money, G. What's up? Okay, so not only was I read on the show on Friday, but if you'll notice in the show, I was doing a lot of this, and then I'd move like this, <laughs> and then I. He was practicing I'd, for bobsled. <laughs> yeah. So I've been using the same chair up here in my my eBay room for the last. I don't know I've been up here now, what, three or four months, and I just use a cheap plastic chair we got from Ikea. And literally by the time 10 minutes into the show, I don't know if it was my sciatic nerve or what it was, but my back was literally killing me to the point where I was literally ready to just be like, hey, Jimmy, I got to go. I was going to text him. I can't do this anymore. My back is killing me. So then I spent all weekend trying to look on Facebook and Craigslist for a cheap office chair. And then my wife said, quit being so cheap and go buy you a chair. So then I obviously I messaged Nate and Anthony and said, hey, what chairs did you guys get? 
know you guys have been talking about it, yada, yada, yada. I said, yeah, this is the one. It's on Amazon. It's $149.99. Then I looked it up. It's $299 now on Amazon. So I was like, damn. But then, as luck would have it, Sam's Club carries the same chair for $149.99, same price. So I picked up the last one. So there it is. You probably can't see it much, but it is a respawn chair, blah, blah, blah. Comfortable. It's got the lumbar cushion, the neck deal. It reclines, foot rest, the whole nine yards. And I love it. Yeah. I can actually sit and not be in pain anymore. I'm, I need to find one. I just... Like, I literally bruised my cheeks, my tailbone. Everything was just hurting to the point where I couldn't even sit down. I had to lay on my side on the recliner in the living room all weekend long. That's how much I was in pain. See? That's how my wife thinks of me. She calls me cheap. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Matt? Matt just dropped in. What's up, Matt? Phoenix Slip. Oh, I've exceeded it, Dan. Let's not kid ourselves, but <laughs> but it's still very comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure anything I would buy would be exceeding the weight capacity, but. Have to let us know how that because uh, Tommy's saying he doesn't like his. Let us know what you you know. Let, I mean, I, obviously Frank's been sitting on a no padding chair. Yeah, I can show the picture of the chair. I still have it in my room. See yeah. those chairs right there? Those are. That is what hell looks like right there. That's a <laughs> He's using house. both that's chairs at the same time, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> One on each cheek. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, hey, man, it was it was you literally broke <laughs> what's that Amanda said you broke your coccyx <laughs> I was like Napoleon Dynamite's grandma I broke my coccyx what's going on with my camera now boy right? you messed up, right? up everything Frank right you have to go red again yeah now I'm red again look at that What the soup? <laughs> there we go. What the tomato soup? <laughs> I'm like Oprah. You get a chair. <laughs> you get a chair. I changed it, Aaron. I got my bronzer back. Although I look oh, like you look paler than normal. Do I look dead? Are you okay? <laughs> Manda, bring the AED. <laughs> <laughs> What's my chair? Mine is I I uh, bought it at the old ES store. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that store. It's called an estate sale special. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think what the store was. I was like, electronic boutique. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what ES was. No, mine's the mine's really. I gotta get a new chair. It's all squeaky, but I got it at an estate sale. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, share. Dan said to give them away for charity. Yes, Frank is using a picture of his own room as the backdrop. Yeah, I had to do some rearranging of my workroom because it was, yeah, I used to love Electronic Boutique, Landshark. But yeah, I had to do some rearranging in my workroom because it was a mess, folks. I've been rearranging the basement, y'all. It's looking good. It's getting there. I'm hoping to do a video this week, towards the end of the week of it being all set up. Holy moly. I, I hey, uh, are, you, are you still in here? What's that, Jimmy? I'd never heard of Electronics Boutique. It was a mall store. Oh, okay. Kind of like KB Toy Store. It was all 
they'd sell video games and uh you know that kind of you know computer stuff and uh, you want me to decorate your house, Aaron? Like, it's gonna look like uh, it's gonna be Star Wars and and video game stuff. Voice, <laughs> Joseph. You, go, you can just pre-record everything. You don't have to show up. <laughs> Dang, Matt's Matt is moving those shoes. All right, good job, man. I saw a pair of shoes yesterday. A pair of Adidas. I I sold two pairs of Crocs and three pairs of shoes this weekend. Nice. Including I sold uh um remember those Osiris shoes I sent you a picture of with the yeah. the, the Chicano theme to them? Yeah. The was that that guy sent me a message saying, "Good luck selling these at these price." Blah 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 blah. Right. So then uh. Yesterday <laughs> at full listing price, so nice. I've just been doing the norm. I've been selling a lot of toys, lots of toys. I just I'm just working on a video. I'm gonna put out just a. I know I said I wasn't gonna do a lot of this, but I'm so behind on stuff that I sold. Um, hopefully tonight I'll be putting out a pre-recorded uh what sold video, and it's gonna be just what sold like. I've been so busy with the basement, I haven't had time to shoot down here, so I just did a real quick what sold video. So I'll give you guys an idea of some of the stuff I've been selling. Do you have a good weekend in sales? How many did you go out this weekend? I had 20 going. So because I shipped on Saturday because I had a lot already. So I shipped the stuff from Friday, Saturday morning. I had eight go out on Saturday, and then I shipped 20 last night. Including two Mercari. I had two Mercari. Nice. So I, I was had, happy uh, about that. I had 23 because I didn't ship anything out Friday night because, again, my back was killing me so bad. Yeah. And then Saturday, Aaron, you would be impressed. I literally cleaned my garage out. <laughs> and there's actually organization to it now. <clears throat> but um, so I didn't do any of my shipping Saturday, you know, Friday night for Saturday. And then so I did everything last night, which was 23. And then we had three more after I was done with my shipping. But I was like, I'm done. We were up till what, 11 o'clock last night doing all the orders. So yeah. and I had three more this morning. So I got six. I got so far for today. Joseph said, so you're going to do like you used to before. So that will be an old school, old school flips video. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna try to do those. I don't know. Like maybe let me know in the chat. Like, did you guys like the just showing you what I sold videos? And then I'll do vlogs in between them. I've had a couple of people ask me to go back to the daily what sold videos. So I'm thinking about just doing a real quick version of it instead of all the. Um, you know, I'll be just um, real quick, me sitting there at my desk showing a couple things I sold, and they won't be very long videos. I did not know that, Tommy, but I remember EB Games. I used to love EB Games. I think EB Games was... Um, yeah, he's saying they renamed it. Yeah, that's, yes, that is correct. All right, I'm going to go, I'll, I'll, I'll start putting some of those out. With, the, with me getting the basement, like... It turned everything upside down, and I haven't decided exactly. You know, I thought, I, you know, I wanted to show you guys what I was doing down here and how I was rearranging it and stuff. But it's just like one of those things where I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to go with this. So I'll mix in some what solds and then mix in some sourcing videos and stuff like that. Yeah, Cajun is saying it's, yeah, that's what they're saying that exists in Canada still and Australia. Really? I have some. I've bought some games that still have EB game stickers on them. <laughs> I just remember they were always uh, they'd have they'd have killer clearance prices on stuff there all the time. What about um? What was that other? Um, it was another all like was it called Media Play? Do you remember those? They sold like CDs, books, records, albums. But I used to always remember Media Play used to always sell the McFarlane toys. Right. Like the, the Kiss and the 
Austin Powers figures, all those, and they were always a killer clearance. You could get them for like three dollars a piece or something like that. Maybe that's why they're not worth as much now. I don't know. Um, a hey, Cajun, uh, do you do mainly RA on Amazon or do you do you sell used stuff on Amazon? I'd be curious to know. I know I've looked at, I watched, I watched some of your videos, but I didn't really pay attention to what was RA and or what was Amazon. Do you do FBA? Do you do FBM? Do you do that merch fulfilled? I'd be curious to know. Sam Goody. I remember Sam Goody. Yes. Sam Goody was another mall. Yep. Mall store. What about uh I was just how funny, Dan. I was just gonna say, what about Spencer's? They always had like the most crazy stuff in Spencer's. Right. Yep. That's like uh, is that, is Spencer still around though? I think so. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I used to, the they are all the gag stuff that they had there, like all the yeah gag gifts and stuff. I do combination of both, mainly RA. Normally, I do FBA only, but right now, you know, okay, yeah, right now it's all merch fulfilled. Like, obviously, if you're doing RA, I don't want, you know, I'm not going to ask, what are you selling, man? But, like, I was just curious if it's RA or if you're, because I've met people that, you know, sell a lot of used stuff, used electronics on Amazon, and they don't mind sharing that information. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out, because I'm doing some side, you know, Amazon stuff, and I'm doing okay. It's not, I'm not getting rich off of it, but it's just learning it. What is Steven asking? Oh, I'm still doing the screenshots, Dan, because I'm not going to hold up the item anymore. I'm just going to do the screenshots. But, yeah, I'm just going to run down and, you know, I'll give you a quick idea what it is, what I sold it for, and what I paid for it. I actually prefer to, because now that I have my my camera right here, I can sit right here, I can bring up my eBay window, and I can just look at that and see what I sold, and then I'll do the screen. The The little screenshots aren't that hard to do, so I'll do that. You'll see in my next video, because I, I just recorded it, and then I'll, I'll drop it with how I'm going to do it, how, how I plan on doing it from now on, on the sold stuff. Yeah, I like that... Uh, um cat the way she does hers like you said just sitting at your desk like you said jimmy just seems a lot easier than so i might get back into doing some what solds now that i don't have to try to figure out because i again when i was trying to do my what sold videos trying to have my tripod set up and everything set up and the lighting and everything what i wanted compared to now this will be so much easier now the way this is so i'm gonna start doing that too and i and, and dan and i don't mean to be like to shoot you down what you're saying because i love advice but you know um from i want you know i want to ask some of the resellers because a lot of resellers want to see exactly what you sold and they want a little information on what it is they want to i don't know if you guys i mean i could hold up the item like i was before but I, i'd have to catch up um but the main thing i want to know is like what do you guys feel about you know I, I have to give some information on what it is and why i bought it and why i sold it um so that's kind of stuff I'm going to focus on is, hey, this is what it is, why, you know, what I thought it was worth and, you know, what I sold it for. Um, if you think it's better to actually hold up the item, though, I can do that. To, for me, the screenshots kind of, in a way, it kind of confirms that we actually sold the item for what we're saying we did or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Because I could honestly sit here and say, hey, I sold the, uh, I sold a Pokemon card for a thousand dollars and then I sold this for two hundred dollars. And so to me to have that little thumbnail come up and just kind of verifies that that you know right, to right. me that's what I get out of it by seeing that. So that's my opinion on it. Steven asking about selling vehicles. I've obviously never tried any of that stuff. I gotta imagine you gotta figure out where the most expensive shipping is going to be or buyer pays shipping or buyer has to set up the logistics of picking up a vehicle or whatever. I, that's the only way I could think that's how that would be handled. Jimmy, do you know anything better? What was it again? I'm sorry. Steven's question here about selling like vehicles, motorcycles, riding mowers, that kind of stuff. How does the shipping work for that kind of stuff? 
Um, so I, I actually work for a company selling equipment. You have to, you have, well, you can sell locally on eBay and do local pickup only vehicles. That's for the most part. I mean, some people may ship them at that point. You're looking for, it's up to you to figure it out. Like you have to get, um, what, what's that called? Uh, LTL. You have to find like an LTL carrier, less than truckload where they'll take one pallet. So when I worked for that company, everything that we shipped out was LTL. And so I dealt with a lot of that, you know, and you, you do, you do a lot of price comparisons. You might use yellow, this one, then red away. And then what's the one that your dad worked for, Frank? Old Dominion. Old Dominion. And, you know, you're using a different carrier all the time, just depending on where it's going. So there's a lot of work on that end of it. Now, there's big money to be made there. People will spend thousands of dollars on power equipment on eBay. I know because I literally sold it. But... There, you know, that was a big part of my job was the logistics and finding the right carriers for the right area of the country. And after you start to learn it, um, and you start to learn what carrier to use, you'll be okay. It never, it's never great because you know what LTL companies do? They, they'll literally, I had LTL companies that would pick it up at our, our warehouse and meet another carrier in denver to take it from there and so now you have multiple tracking numbers and then or they'll get it to south carolina and then they give it to a literally they will give it to a tow truck company to deliver it from there so that's when you're selling big equipment that's the kind of stuff that you have to figure out and it take and it's a lot more customer service work <clears throat> Yeah, because you, you got to make sure you have a trucking company that you have to verify that they're going to provide door to door service. Yep. Um, it's, because not happen, not, right? it's very rarely is like an old old Dominion is a nationwide company. But now, with that being said, if your end user is living in some obscure town in the middle of Kansas somewhere, Guess what? That truck's not even going to go down that street. That trailer will probably go to either Wichita or Salina, mm -hmm. Kansas, offload it there, and then they'll find a regional company or, you know, uh, a small service provider that will unload that pallet or that car or whatever it is and give it to that company to do the, the little small. And they're going to charge you extra for the order. Order. It's not worth it for them to drive a 28 foot pup trailer with a tractor out to BFE. Sorry to use that term, but you know what I mean? Out in the middle of nowhere yep. to drop off, a, you know, and you right. got to be careful again, when it's something that's large and it's going on a pallet, you got to make sure, find out what the charge is for a residential as opposed to commercial. You got to find out the difference between uh, if they have to use a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, electric lift gate. Uh, um, lift gate to unload your item. I mean, there's a bunch of things you have to consider when you're selling anything that's bulkier or bigger in size. There's because that rate they could quote you say $159 to deliver a pallet, but then you don't bother telling them you're having it picked up from a residence, it's delivered to a residence, mm -hmm. it needs a, a lift gate and all that. That $150 freight could turn into $500. Just like that. I'm sorry, I'm reading these. You know, yeah. I, I, again, I I appreciate all the feedback, and I I love what you guys are, the information that you're giving, and I'm trying. You know, definitely not perfect at this by any means, and I'm because I, I do have a schedule that I have to keep to, and like it's hard. Like for me, the convenience of sitting here and recording it saves me time. So. Yeah, Frank's oh, right. There. Like, most companies like that, they charge you for a liftgate service because they, you know, they're used to delivering to a warehouse where the guy has a forklift and in and out with, and unloads it. Where if they have to go to your house and unload it, they're going to charge you more. <laughs> we'll go half seas with you, Ern. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the what solds, to be honest with you, are more helpful for people that are just getting into reselling. 
Um, it helps them. I wish I would have had enough sense to uh, <laughs> look into YouTube for some what sells videos when I first started, but um, Dapper yeah. Tiger, what's up? Welcome in. Just saw you dropped in. Right. Like, obviously, we all, you know, most of the resellers know who Lonnie is, and um, that's, you know, that's what he does. He just shows you what he sold, you know, and he'll he'll go on some, give out some other information for, um, that's kind of what I started off, you know, obviously, you know, new to this, oh, Lonnie, I'm going to be like Lonnie. Well, obviously, I've definitely reevaluated that, but um, that's right, Tommy, I agree. Like, I got to do what I like. I like showing what I sold. But I agree with Matt. I also don't – so part of it is I, I can't – I don't have the time to record every night anymore. Like, I got so much going on now. Like, recording every night became too much, you know, the way I was. And then editing the way I was, it became too much. And to do this live, you're talking, you know, five hours out of my day between recording, editing, and then doing the live. It's just I just don't have the time to do it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, and I agree, Joseph, and that's what I was kind of going to. I was going to go to three times a week, but I have some people asking me to go back to the daily, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try just doing a, a simplified daily video just for people that want to see what I sold. And I'll still do these lives, and then I'll still do – and I'll, I'll mix in a vlog-type video once a week or so. So, yeah, I appreciate the input, though. I didn't mean to go way off into that whole, you know, I just, um, but I do appreciate it. And Dan, I appreciate your, your input too, Dan. I'm not saying I don't like, I, I don't want you to think I don't. I appreciate it, Dan. Um, I just, uh, I want to make sure I, I, I'm getting as much information out as I can in the short video that I'm doing. Cause I do want to keep it shorter. I agree. I don't want them to be long videos. Yeah. That's the hard part. Like I said, is just trying to figure out the, that balance between repetitiveness, important information, not, you know, it's, it's hard for anybody that's, you know, trying to build content. And then obviously the most important thing is you want to have good content for your channel. So, um, like I said, it, it's a, it's a fine line between, and obviously we all know you're, you're not going to be able to please everybody with what we're putting out. I, I had another person that is a YouTuber, uh, messaged me the other day because they were somebody actually complained to them about they didn't like the way this person filmed their video and it's like really how, how people really have that much time to right yeah seek out a content provider and tell them that they don't like the way they they film their video i mean it's you know <laughs> Sorry, I got a message here. Oh, you're good. Sorry, everyone. Just real quick. No, I got, a, I got a possible goodbye that I could make. I don't want to miss it. <laughs> you know, I'll be the first. Yeah, um, I'll be the first to admit. Me and Jimmy have talked about it countless times. I do not like doing content videos because, again, the way, mm -hmm. the amount of time I had to put into one compared to a more simplistic way, like I said doing it right here in front of my screen with just um tesla picker what's going on buddy good to see you drop it in he needs he needs something thrown at him he, he ain't got a ranch sorry tesla just so you know we call it ranch around here thank you aaron for changing the name from wrench to ranch <laughs> so we gotta throw some ranch at you because you don't have ranch right now <laughs> Yeah, man. Thanks, uh, Dapper. Like, I gotta, you know, when I see a deal come up on Facebook Marketplace, I gotta. Sometimes I just gotta jump, you know, because you know people <laughs> want hold items and they'll they're looking to sell it, and I just got them to take a, a price that I negotiated with them, and they took a price, so I gotta make sure that I'm like, okay, I'll be there after the show. I didn't say after the show, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the get the. Uh... Those sales are more important, obviously, because that's where you're making your money. This is for 
fun and entertainment and hanging out with great people. But yeah, right. don't pass up on those. Yeah, for sure. Talking about that editing and stuff though, like Tesla's here. Like if I was as good at him at, you know, the creativity side of it, then, you know, you can, I wouldn't, you know, maybe I wouldn't be thinking about, you know, can I put some, put a video out every day? Like this guy, he's not putting out videos every day. He's doing, you know, they're spread out a little, just a little bit. And he's, but his editing and his creativity is what um, draws people into him for sure. <laughs> what are you talking about, Dan? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I want to talk to Tesla about, because I play, you know, I'm round now, but I used to play some basketball. And I saw that video where he had his kids playing basketball at the beginning. Though you got some ballers on your hand. When that one of your sons broke the other one's ankle, I mean that's a basketball term. When he broke his ankles, I was like, "What?" <laughs> I want to talk to Tesla about that alone. Like I was like, "He's got some ballers on his hands, man." Like, like obviously they're gonna play some school basketball and stuff. Like I don't know if that's if they want to or if they're interested, but man, like I'm not even exaggerating. If you guys get a chance. Maybe he can even uh, link that video. He he started off the video with his kids playing basketball, and they are, like, crossing each other up. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, they love the – I could tell, man. Like, they're playing in the garage on a makeshift hoop, but they're balling out of control in the garage. Like, it's a, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you do have a little gray there, Aaron, and you're uh... – <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, I as soon as they left funny, that band on the 18th. Man. Oh yeah. So get to that. Uh, go to the TBU salon in in North Glen, Colorado, where my daughter works. She'll take care of that gray, <laughs> just like that. Nice man, that's awesome. I used, I mean, my brother knows. Rank knows a little bit. Like I played. I I was point guard when I was thinner. I was pretty good. I didn't play at school because my grades, but I played all the time at the parks and stuff. Uh, the parks in Mesa and Tempe, Arizona. Hold on, oh, I'm, speaking uh, of Frank's head on the wrestling figure, did we get uh? Did you have that other picture that we put together, or that Dan Dan put together? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Hold on, Frank was looking a little bit like it wasn't a wrestler, but he was a hype man for wrestling. So I just wanted to point out when uh, a certain somebody to my left y'all's right this is when he was balling out of control right there dang who's that guy look at that elway backdrop what is that a broncos yeah. frisbee up there it is and uh, there's a little broncos football i used to have a broncos golf head cover <laughs> on my wall <laughs> i was pretty desperate for broncos decoration <laughs> Right. Let me see if I can find. Back when uh, Riverview was still a park. It was Riverview, right? Riverview was still a park. I played there a lot. Isn't that what it was called, Frank? Riverview? Yeah, isn't that where... Fun, uh... fun fact, Frank. They shot the, the Space Jam McDonald's commercial at Riverview Park. Really? Yeah, they, uh, they painted the court all McDonald's and everything. I remember because then after they did that commercial, the court was a McDonald's because uh, Space Jam did a McDonald's commercial with Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan at that park. Is that Paxton Lynch? That's messed up, Joseph. <laughs> My picture looks like Paxton Lynch. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. That's messed up. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I, I laughed a little too hard at that one because now that I see that dude, yeah, Riverview um, Park. I used to play there a lot. What was the one that was by your church, Joseph? I played at that park some too. That one you had to be, huh? Evergreen Park. Evergreen Park. I played there. Now that one you had to be a little more careful uh, when you showed up. You might have want to bring someone with. Diverse. It was definitely a little more racially diverse. Um, and you didn't want to go talk. You didn't want to talk trash to the wrong person at that park because obviously basketball includes trash talking. But you had to be careful. <laughs> so yeah, here was a 
pretty good uh, summary of what I looked like on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Brother love. <laughs> so, <laughs> that red face is great, man. <sighs> and now I'm a little bit more. Now you're a little pale. Are you going to the prom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking dapper now. Look, it's all fit. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my gosh, that's Friday. <laughs> Monday. Monday. Friday. Monday. Now watch this. This is the cool part. Monday. Friday. <laughs> Look like Colonel Sanders KFC opening day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking me, Jimmy. Aaron's asking me if I'm going to prom in that outfit. Oh shoot. <laughs> no, I'm not asking. Matt, are you oh, uh, talking about the is Reed Park what it's called now? The park off of Country Club and University, just north of University. <laughs> oh. oh, we got somebody in the house, Jimmy. The man with the stash. Respect it, y'all. Respect the stash. You <laughs> anymore? You gotta respect your wife said. You're not real light right now. That's your color, she said. <laughs> You're just Respect real light. The suit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. All right? You might have to get a suit like that's like your Halloween costume. I think you confirmed. <laughs> Paint your face a little bit red. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check that out, Tesla. I'm gonna open that link in another so I don't miss it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love basketball. I played a lot. Um, I love to watch when someone's got skills. It's now point guard is my position. I love someone that can cross somebody up. So yeah, I'll, I'll check that out for sure, Tesla. I appreciate you dropping that. So yeah, did you see Matt's comment on Evergreen Park, Jimmy? Uh, uh. Is that is that what it's called now? Is Reed Park? Yeah. Yeah, that's where. I, yeah, I didn't. I I don't remember the names. Hey, um, hey, Matt. So you know that little community, or I think it was called like the community restaurant or something. There's a like a family diner restaurant right by that park off of Country Club. Yep, I remember that restaurant. So one day I was taking Amanda and the kids to go eat there because we had just we had just moved out to Phoenix, and we pull up to the restaurant, and my son who was probably six at the time all he reads is the sign on the window that they were advertising all you can eat spaghetti and so we pull up and frankie gets pissed off and he's like, <laughs> I, I don't want to eat here and he goes and i go why son he goes because all you can eat is spaghetti here they don't serve anything else and i was like what and he's all the sign Says all you can eat spaghetti. <laughs> He's all this is no buffet. This place does not get buffet points. This is the worst buffet I've ever seen in my life. They only have one item in their buffet line. Best and ooh, Cajun just hit uh oh man, Cajun. I mean I'm sorry. I Real so quick, it was all you can eat chicken. It was all you can eat chicken. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, look, even Junior that. confirmed it. <laughs> so, best NBA point guard of all time. A lot of people would go to the obvious John Stockton, but passer, pure pa best passer. I'm biased for Steve Nash a little bit. Steve Nash. Yeah, I'm biased. I know Matt is too. Um. And I don't even know if he's considered – would you guys consider Magic Johnson a point guard even though he played a bunch of other um, – Magic Johnson with those – like I – maybe not oh, – he was the funnest to watch. Magic Johnson, I love passing. Like I love people that can pass. And Magic Johnson, man. Oof. Isaiah Thomas is a good one. Allen Iverson was a scorer. Yeah. 
you know, I I was not the the big uh, the biggest basketball fan to like watch and know whatever each player their you know I always knew what the center is because I was the tallest guy on the court, right? But I never knew what a power right. forward was or a point guard what they were. You know what I mean? Right. But with Steve Nash, this is honest to God's truth. Did that guy ever miss a shot that he took? Because I just I almost sure. remembered everything like, he Nash, shot. Yep. If he actually tried to score, he could have been one of the best scorers. He was too busy passing. That's so that, guy was a, that guy was an assassin from three point land. Yeah. Yeah. I so I get a, I'm I'm gonna tell a funny story, and Jimmy knows about this story. So again, when we were living out in Arizona back in 2007, me and Amanda and the kids were at this like pop up Halloween carnival kind of deal. And uh, I see this guy walking around, and uh, I'm like, I know who that is. I know who that is. So I'm having Amanda and the kids are with me stalking this guy, right? So I see one of these carny guys on the, you know, what do they call that thing? You know, but the carny guy is like, hey, come on, win a stuffed animal if you can make a basket, blah, 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 blah. So he calls out this guy, and he was a taller guy, and he's like, like literally like talking crap to him to trying to sucker him into playing this game. And all he had to do was make like a three-point shot, right? So the guy's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. He's like, oh, come on. You're a tall guy. You probably played a game or two, you know, just totally just egging this guy on. So finally he goes, okay, I'll do it. So then I turned to my wife and I said, Amanda, I said, this is going to be hilarious. And she goes, why I go? That's Dan Marley. He was one of the best three-point shooters in NBA history. And he's about to school this guy. Needless to say about Five minutes later, him, his wife, and the other people in their group were carrying those huge, ginormous stuffed animals <laughs> as he nailed like six three-pointers in a row. Yep. And that dude's jaw was on the ground, and I was just laughing. It was hilarious. Yep, Frank totally called. Yep. I want to so tell what your son says right here, um, Alan Iverson. Like It's like it's a lot of the what-ifs with, just like my brother said, if Nash was better at defense – um, hands down, if Iverson was just a little bit taller, that he could have been the best player. Ever. Like, a lot of, there's isn't a Jordan that famous? Someone famously said, like, if Iverson, who said that? Who said if Iverson was taller, he could have been the best player ever? It's just he was, you know, his height slowed him just that little bit. Um, you know, I have a, I like, a, I love the point guard position. Someone mentioned Jason Kidd; he was one of my favorites. Um, my favorite player of all time is Kevin Johnson from the Phoenix Suns, KJ. Uh, I, I liked to play his style of basketball when I played, um, Kevin Johnson was my favorite. Um, Kobe Bryant was a shooting guard. Kobe Bryant said that. Okay. Thanks Frankie. Yeah. Kobe Bryant said that an hour Iverson could score with the best of them. And if he was, if he was taller, oh my gosh. Yeah, Kobe said that. Oh, I got to check my text. All right. <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> Joseph, here you go. You asked for it. I may or may not look like Paxton Lynch. <laughs> if you can't see my phone very well. That's messed up. <laughs> we'll have to put that on the screen. Maybe Frank will. Yeah, I'm working. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> One of the best ones ever. KJ dunking over Akeem Olajuwon. That's my favorite dunk all time. Kevin um, Johnson, dude. John Starks had a really good dunk when he dunked on uh, – who did he dunk on? Who did John Starks – he had a dunk on somebody. Starks played for the Knicks, right? Yeah, he had a great dunk. What? Tesla's son was on Sports Center for like a play of the game, like the play of the day or whatever. So, yeah, Kevin Johnson was the mayor of Sacramento, California. Yep. yep. I think is he is he still or his like term up or whatever? But. Tesla, I, I'll I'll be watching these for sure, man. I love, as you can probably tell, I love basketball. I'm I'm saving those links right now. Yes, Olajuwon, that's a lost art, man. That back to the basket or back to the basket style of center play. I miss that. You know, Kim Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing, all those guys that played with their back. Even Shaq did it some. 
I miss that style of ball. Nobody plays that way anymore. Steve. Uh -oh. Someone's in the trouble. <laughs> what did Steven do? <laughs> so we're about to uh yeah. tell me you good with that? Huh? Oh. Tesla, can I show the video? I agree, Joseph. I loved K. You know I loved KJ. Number seven. That was the first number seven. Yeah, it's yeah, Kevin Johnson, man. I remember he was your favorite player, Jimmy. And man, he, said, he yeah. was. Yeah, man, I love. Oh, this so him seeing himself. Okay, dude, that's legit. I'm getting goosebumps, man. What? Snap! <laughs> <laughs> that's all he said. What? He looked back at me like, whoa! <laughs> you see that? Yeah, yeah baby, you made it. You made it. Yeah. <laughs> That was classic when he looked back at you like, did you see that, Dad? You saw that, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Woo! <laughs> he broke that ankle, man. That's awesome. I love the way he was back <laughs> <laughs> You see that? Yeah, man, yeah baby. You made That's it. That's awesome. <laughs> I love basketball, though. Like, that gets me hyped. That, uh, <laughs> something tells me, I mean, first you could see the dignity escaping the kid's body as he lands on the court. And I'm almost <laughs> positive that kid probably played his last game ever. <laughs> well, I guarantee you that kid went over the sideline pretending like his shoe was untied afterwards. It was because my shoe was untied. <laughs> he popped a hammy after that or something. He rolled an ankle, something to get off the court after that. Yep. <laughs> Which, Dude, I, that's, I love the way he looked back. He looked back to you like, did you see that? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That was cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, We it's already almost two hours, man. Are we going to keep going? Uh oh, Jimmy, look, you're getting called out after the lockdown's uh, over. Tuna casserole. I made some uh not to, I made some lime and other marinade chicken yesterday. <laughs> yes, I saw the pictures. It looked delish. Had the beans going, some so <laughs> is what he said. Um what did he say? Yeah, what... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's basketball though, like that's it's just part of the game, man. But yeah, I get it. I get it. I, you can't help but feel a little bit bad. Oh, man. <laughs> Matt said I've been the other kid. So <laughs> <laughs> he was cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see me on the court because. Uh... Oh, that's good. At least he was kind of. Yeah, at least he was cool about it, and you know. Again, like I said, I I'm gonna brag on myself a little. I was pretty good, man. I I had handles, and I I could. I mean, my brother can attest to it. I was pretty dang good back when I wasn't round. I miss it a lot. As I, I lot. like basketball, I just I mean, and I'll I'll play it, but yeah, I I got the athletic skills of a garden slug when it comes to basketball. Yeah, I don't have – I mean, I didn't have – back then you had to have a camcorder with, like, you know, tape, actual tape. We didn't have digital video. <laughs> I don't have any evidence. I, I Unfortunately, I don't have evidence. My brother's the only one I have that I can go to who can attest for me that I was uh, good at basketball. <laughs> if I played basketball, like a pickup game of basketball or whatever, I was always the fat kid that stood under the hoop. <laughs> throw it to me. Throw it to me. Oh. I'm all good. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I, 
You couldn't slide a piece of paper beneath me on the ground when I jump, okay? <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, uh, yeah, Dave's that. got some videos on VHS of it falling out of control. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the slide video. Oh shoot. Yeah, that was that that brings back memories watching that man. That's awesome. I hope your kids make it, man. I hope they I hope they make it, man. I mean uh, and they don't have to make it, you know, like they get to play a lot of basketball in their lives and they get to have fun. You know, if they Oh, you were a football guy. Ew. I could hand out Gatorade with the best of them on a football field, I'll tell you that. <laughs> What'd you play, Tesla? What was your position in football? Because I played I liked football too. I like I thought I was a quarterback. Uncle Rico, that's right. I am Uncle Rico. <laughs> water boy. Come on, Aaron. That's messed up. <clears throat> hey, I was water, I was water boy. On the field, for sure. I was a... <laughs> I was more of a... The coaching side of it. Corner, wide receiver. What did you what'd you like playing the best? Corner, wide receiver, or running back? What was your favorite position to play? I feel like we're interviewing Dave. <laughs> right? Tesla, are you available this week for to be a guest on our show? And we can just ask you all these questions directly. Oh, you were talking to Frank. Oh, I got oh, you. Oh, call me the water boy. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> they left out. <laughs> <laughs> you like playing. That's interesting. That's corner's a tough position, man. Yep. Dapper just said <laughs> Jinx, Dapper. That's a corner's tough. Seriously, because, I mean, literally you're at a disadvantage the second that ball is snapped because you're having to run backwards against a, one of the fastest human beings on the field. Right, and then the receiver knows what he's going to do, and you have to get – like, he knows what he's going to do. Yeah, and you got to anticipate. Is it going to go that left? Video in the background, Frank? What's that? I hear the video again. Tesla's. Is that me? No, it's not me. Oh. What the hell is going on with my? Let me close these. It was me. It start like one of my tabs start playing. Sorry about that. Yep. Yeah. Right, Cajun. Like the wide receiver knows what route he's running. And then if then it, even if the if the play breaks down, you still got to stay with your guy because now he's he's reading. You know the receiver's going to continue to try to get open for the quarterback who's scrambling to look for somebody open. Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough position. Well, and, and then obviously then not only do you have to face the fact that you're running backwards, you're running with a extremely fast human being, but then on top of everything else, the rules are designed for the receiver, yeah. not the quarterback. For sure. So I'm you got to watch how you're doing everything. It's just, man, i mad props to anybody who plays corner in, yeah. in any level, whether it's peewee all the way up to pro because – you know, Jimmy and I, you know, we spent many a Saturday out with our kids playing football on the weekends, and, man, it's. Right. Yes, especially if you got, you know, Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson, Peyton Manning. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Cajun. Did they make a rule? I believe they may have made a rule about thanks to 1999. I'm going to open that up too so I can watch it. I'm going to pause it this time so it doesn't play half an hour later. What's this one we got, Tesla? Copy this link. This is Tesla playing. Oh, playing some football, huh? All right. 
We're going to watch this one on the screen. Yes. All right. Share screen. Chrome tab. Number 32. All right. Exclusive on Mile High Treasure Hunters, Tesla playing ball. Oh, with the pick. Uh-oh. Look at that with those spin moves, though. What? <laughs> <laughs> right? That was great. It's a little choppy on my end. But that's all right, as long as y'all are seeing it. Circa 1999. That's crazy. Oh, he, he get could. It, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Boom. With the touchdown. Yep, the big shoulder pads. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Got them big shoulder pads. Right? That's why he played wide right receiver and running back, too, because he could catch. The rare corner that could catch. Right. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I had a friend that, man, he played in, from. I watched him from Pee Wee all the way into college. And I literally, I, I exaggerate, but when I say that guy never had to put his jersey through a washing machine because he literally never got tackled. And unfortunately for him, by the time he hit high school, he literally stopped growing. Now, what's sad was he could have been like Darren Sproles or, you know, because he was like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, but he ended up going to USC, and I actually saw him one time on ESPN because he ran like a 98-yard touchdown run. And he held a record at USC until uh, Reggie Bush broke it. But, man, he was, like I said, literally his mom never had to wash his football jersey from oh. he went football to high school because the guy just never got tackled. Dan, do you remember Lavelle Woods? Dan knows who I'm talking about. We were all friends with him when we were in uh, – when we were, when we first moved to Arizona. Hmm. But, man, he was just – it was it was amazing to me to see him play. I mean, because like I said, the dude never got tackled. Right. But like I said, he was he was born twenty years too early. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, would you like to talk about how was uh where did he play at anyways? Who? Paxton Lynch. Oh, was a... I know Cajun knows. Uh, I know it's a blue uniform. Blue and white. Oh, I can't think of the name. I can't think of it. Like, I'm drawing a blank. Because uh, Brock was the oh, ASU sir. guy, Did right? Louis Louis no, sir. Was it Louisville? No. Yeah. Memphis. Yeah, that sounds, that's right. Because yeah. Brock Louisville. was. ASU guy, right? Brock was, yeah, him and uh, I remember that year. I can say because Nick Foles and and Brock Osweiler, and I wanted Foles. I wanted the Broncos to draft Foles because they're both coming out of Arizona. Sorry. And Tesla's asking what his name was. Laval Woods was my friend's name. If you Google him, he comes up a few times on. Uh, Google. Man, we've been on. Maybe that's how it was spelled. I just put it in the text or in the chat. Um, but man, he was like I said. I I want to say he was like 
he stopped growing at like five seven, maybe five eight. So obviously, in the junior high, high school level, that wasn't a big deal. I mean, like I said, he still got a scholarship to USC and everything, and he played for USC. And I think he might have got injured while at USC. Huh. That name rings a bell, but he went to. He didn't go to Westwood High. He landed up going to. Dobson, or was there like a mountain something high school or mountain mountain view mountain view maybe huh now we've been yeah. going on two hours i'm gonna have to, i'm gonna have to get going if you i mean you're yeah me gonna, too i'm actually going to look at a or red mountain just said possibly red red mountain, mountain possibly so, all right, guys, we are going to cut it though. We're uh, we're running close to two bells, and uh, oh, Shane, sorry, Shane, we're about to take off. Um, Tommy and Brandon have a live coming up here in five minutes. Jimmy, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So, if you guys are friends with them, check them out. Um, we appreciate you guys taking your time out of the day to hang out with us. Thank you, everybody, and uh, Jimmy. Go get your uh, Facebook buy. I got to go look at a storage unit. And did hey, <laughs> I did. I literally just hit my uh, the little button that <laughs> drops your chair. Scurvy. I got to go back and get footage of that. That's going to be. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I was oh, literally... oh, my God. Oh, There's an earthquake. Wait. There's an earthquake. Rogue One, Joseph. Rogue One is, and I hate to say that, but Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie. We'll talk about that later, Joseph. So, peace out, everybody. Thank you all for taking the time. Tomorrow on Uncle Beast channel. Yes. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.